Then I'm going to go ahead and set the rear pattern, the hip pattern. I'm going to put this finger on his butt and spread it out to touch the loin. And this is your pattern in the back. And then when you connect your thumbs is where your side pattern ends. So I'm going to try and set the rear pattern up with the undercoat rake, which is the easiest way right now with the overgrown dog like this. Unbelievable how much hair is coming out. And on the cock, American Cocker Spaniels have a lot more undercoat than, let's say, Springers or even English Cockers. Sometimes English Cockers do too, but not usually. And so using an undercoat rake is not going to damage the coat. I know it, I've done a lot of Cocker Spaniels overgrown cocker spaniels and not overgrown just shaping <coughs> the furnishings and the body parts with the undercoat rake and I have never seen a damaged coat so in my experience undercoat rake is great for American cocker spaniels so we're getting there just a little lower and it is the pattern is exactly the shape of your hand it's not a V, it's not a triangle, it's not a V, it, it, you, it's exactly the way this line goes, the shape of your hand. Nice and soft. And if you think about it, the shape of the bevel on the bottom of that pattern is going to reflect, is going to reflect the shape of the pattern on the hip and on the shoulder.